look, Dawson, Dawson tried to sort of play some game, put her game on to Casey, and he went one way, and that was very clear, and I think that it's better that they stay friends. You know, I think that it could be a little bit too much drama in the house if there was something going on right now anyways. So then she decides to go to Peter Mills. Okay, so Charlie Barnett, who plays Peter Mills on the show, he and I went to college together. I was two years ahead of him in school, um, and we both went to Juilliard, and so we spent two years in the same university in New York City together. We have the same group of friends. And so I graduate, I go off, I start working, and then he graduates and he starts working, but still keeping in touch. And then we find out that we've both been cast on the same show. <laughs> and so that was great, right? It's like, oh, I get to have like a sibling on the show. And then they decide to write us hooking up. <laughs> so when it came time to like actually hook up, we were both like, okay, let's, <laughs> can we get some wine first? <laughs> but it, I guess it works. I don't know, we're very comfortable with each other. It's very strange for me. I look over to my left and nobody's there. I miss, I miss Lauren. It's very strange doing an interview without her. But this whole Shawson thing, which is Shay and Dawson, Shawson, it's the greatest, it's the greatest relationship I've ever had the pleasure of playing on TV. Because like we're, very close in real life and on the show we're obviously best friends and co-workers and we've got each other's back no matter what and when like she's being an annoying little brat i'll tell her and when i'm being a terrible human being she'll tell me and we just there's a no holds barred no bs we're sisters thick and thin and we'll go through anything together it's it's a pretty special relationship i think I'm not really sure how much I can go into detail with it, but because I do want some of you guys to like watch it. Um, but yeah, my, my brother gets caught up in uh, this gang investigation. He's, a, he's an undercover detective, and he gets so in over his head that he ends up in the middle of a gang rivalry and gets shot. And I, you know, we don't, we don't quite know what's going to happen with him in, in regards to like, not, not only physically his life, but how, how his role plays in this gang investigation and in this gang territory. So I end up actually going to what your viewers may remember as Detective Voight. I decide to use him as a way to help my brother. The pyrotechnics of the show um, are incredibly mesmerizing to watch. You're, you're watching um, actual fire tricks, effects, merged with also digital and CGI effects, and it looks phenomenal on screen. Outside, what we have is a collapsed building. And if you get a chance to go take some footage of it, I really encourage you to, because the, the house looks like the cave is collapsing, uh, excuse me, the, the roof is collapsing and it's caving into the home. And so I saw it and I was like, this can't be real. This can't be a real house. I said, well, no, they built an external structure so that it looks very real. Um, and so the firefighters and paramedics come in, there's somebody trapped down in the basement and our heroes go in and rescue and grab her and, and lift her out in, uh, I guess like a cherry picker device that they create. And that's the kind of stuff that we get to, we get to, we get to see how the heroes deal with, because sometimes it's not always a successful case. Sometimes we have victims who lose their lives in these fires or these collapses. And it's about watching the characters take that work home with them. How do they, how do they wake up the next day and do this all over again?